Good day viewers, you are welcome. Let's solve these nice functional equations. We have the exponent as the domain of this function g. Given that g of e power of t plus 1 equals e power of 2t. e is exponent and what is g of t? This contradicts because the one we are going to find does not have exponent. It's just like a linear domain. And uh, how can we make this related to each other? It's very simple as I'm going to be solving this in two different ways and step by step. Let's get into it. When we consider the solution, the question says the g of e power of t plus 1 equals e raised to the power of 2t. That is exponent. In the first method, suppose I let, if I let exponential t plus 1 to be equals, let's say I choose x. I want to make this t the subject of the formula. What I will do is, by subtracting 1 from both sides, as we are going to have exponential t equals x minus 1 then exponential power of t we want to make it cancelled what we do is we introduce the natural logarithm to both sides that is ln and we should note that if you have ln multiplied by e this equals 1 they cancel each other and similarly, if you have e raised to the power of ln, it's also 1. They cancel each others. So, introducing ln to this point is the best solution that we can make this e cancel. We have ln e power of t equals ln of x minus 1. And then, according to these rules, ln and e cancelled and we make t the subject of this formula as ln x minus 1. Then let's come back to the given questions and uh, we try to replace everything from therefore we have g of instead of e power of t plus 1 we change that one to x because we have let it to be equals x equals e to the power of 2 then it is it was e power of 2t then we change that t to ln x minus 1 because we have already made it the subject of the formula and then we are going to apply the logarithm rule here we have 2 at the bracket of ln so the rule says we take these two to the power of x minus 1 and to do that, we are going to have g of x equals e power of ln of x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. We write e and the ln cancelled as we are going to have g of x equals x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. We have made g of x the subject as what we are looking at g of t but we have gotten to that stage of replacing this x with t x and t they are both members of real number then we are going to have the g of t equals t minus 1 raised to the power of 2 this is the solution that satisfies this problem as the first method Let's see the second method and compare with the one that is very much simple to solve, to use. So, let's see the second one. So, welcome back to the second method of solving this. So, what I will do here is, I'm still going to let, by still let e power of t plus 1 to be equals x. Then, let's take x to the other side. We have e power of t equals x minus 1. 
Then let's take the square of both sides. By squaring both sides, we have a power of t raised to the power 2 equals x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. And when we have a power of n raised to the power of m, this is the same thing as a power of m raised to the power of n. And everything equals a power of m n or a power of n m. So applying it to this, we are going to have this as a power of 2t equals x minus 1 to the power of 2. As we have already have this, then let's replace everything back. We have a power of 2t as x minus 1. And uh, g of a power of t plus 1 is given as x. Since we have replaced it, this equals a power 2t is given as x minus 1 raised to the power of 2. Therefore, we change our x to t. Then g of t equals t minus 1 raised to the power of 2. This is another second method of solving the same problem. This is more simpler, right? Yeah, it's good to be familiar with different ways of solving a functional equation problem. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.